the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you the Kano APC World Executive deny involvement in Gandu Jay's suspension. Moving on after this, we have the failure of the Kano State Government to serve criminal charges on the National Chairman of All Progressive Congress, Dr. Abdullahi Omar Gandu Jay. On Wednesday, store the former governor at the Kano State High Court. All right, my people, welcome back to this wonderful channel. As we bring you back to back update, as it hot. In case it's your first time of joining this wonderful channel, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, and also turn the notification bell to get notified whenever our news drop. So that now you go be the first to watch. My people no be small mats at the apple for this country. Daddy, whatever I carry, God give what I say. The executive of the All Progressive Congress in Dakwanke to a local government ward in Kano State. Now being behind Monday suspension of the party. National Chairman Abdullah Ganduje. The report was made by the legal advisor of the Kwanki Tofa local government ward in Kano State, Hilaru Guazo, when he led a 27-member delegation on a solidarity visit to Ganduje at the party secretariat. One Zo also, you know, said that he knew nothing about Wednesday court case filed against the former Kano State Governor Abdullah. Kanduje. The development is coming two days after the same politician told journalists in Kano that the decision to suspend the former governor was taken by the APC world leadership. He was one that cited that the bribery charges filed against Kanduje by the Kano state governor and his arraignments scheduled for Thursday as a reason for their action. So now addressing the newsman in Abuja on Wednesday, Guazo claimed that he was impersonated, begged the ruling party to probe the matter and punish those found culpable. That is hereby today with the 27 members from the award in Dakwanki Tofa local government in Kano State to tell the whole world that they know nothing about the purported suspension of the national chairman Umar Ganduje. Because it is not true that he was surprised, just like every other person, to see his name again as one of the plaintiffs that took illegal action against Ganduje. This morning, that it is utterly false. He knows nothing about all this allegation and he's using this opportunity to call on the leadership of the great party and the national working committee to go after the impersonators. That they should not be spared. They know that this is orchestrated by the NNPP government and the Kwankwaso group. <laughs> they have all worked for him and now he's hurting them one after the other. What are those saying that President Bola met Nobu's loyalists? Can't be rubbish under his regime. Hey, hey, don't be small matter. When they can't see and now, Kwakwaso took Kanu from him, even when he's still in control of the state as governor. Zimbola Metinobu so he's politically not relevant like Rabiu, so he needs to go so Rabiu can come on board. Which how the governor with the camp. This same thing that was what they did to Adam Sochomole. So guys, I would like to know what your thought is towards this issue. Your contributions, opinions are in this matter. Let's keep the conversation live in our comment section. Moving on to the next one. The fellow of the Kano State Government to serve criminal charges on the National Chairman of All Progressive Congress, Dr. Abdullah Ganduji, on Wednesday, stored the arraignment of the former governor at the Kano State High Court. Ganduji, who was to be arraigned alongside of his wife, Hafsad Ganduji, his son, Umar Abdullah Umar, and five others on eight count charges, bordering on bribery allegation, was conspicuously absent in the courts. When the matter came up before Justice Usman Malam, only the sixth respondent through his counsel, Jumor San, was present in the court, while the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, seventh, and eighth respondent were conspicuously absent. Counsel to the Kano State Government, Barrister Adamu, told the court that they could not serve the respondent personally. However, attempted to move an expert motion application seeking to serve the respondent through subtitled means, but counsel to the sixth respondent, Barrister. Jumor San objected to it. Jumor told the prosecution to do their homework, noting that there is no provision for service on criminal charges by expert motion, firing to challenge such a move at the Court of Appeal. The presiding judge, Justice Naba, however, adjourned the matter till 29 April 2024 for continuation. The Kano state government has recently dragged Anduji, wife, son, and five others to court over alleged corruption and misappropriation of public funds. Judges are saying that they are in power. So they will make it impossible for him to be served as simple as ABC. That the their master is their ogre at the top, so nobody will be able to serve him. He has immunity as APC national chairman indirectly, and that is Nigeria. Mm -hmm. For you, when it comes to big man trial, Omo, there is always an excuse. Shame on Nigeria's judiciary system. This is likely waste of time and cannot resources. 
some may disagree with me from the look of nigeria or more justice system they fail us like seriously not only that though, the all progressive congress has announced on tuesday that they had petitioned the inspector general of police kayo Dekbetoko, to probe the purported suspension of their national chairman dr abilai ganduji orchestrated by some imposters allegedly affiliated to the new nigeria people's party led government in kano state the national publicity secretary of the party felix moka disclosed this in a statement titled purported suspension of apc national chairman devious act of imposture fake news the director of the ganduje ward apc in the dakwanki tofa local government area of kano state had on Monday declared ganduje suspended from the party the legal advisor of the ward Haluri Guazo, who addressed journalists in Kano, said that the APC world leadership took the decision given the bribery allegation hanging on Ganduje's neck. They cited the bribery charges filed against Ganduje by the Kano state government and his arraignment scheduled for Thursday. So the suspension was, however, overruled by the state leadership of the party, which also slammed a six month suspension on the world executive. The party filed a petition with Inspector General of Police requesting an expanded investigation of this matter and that the perpetrators and their sponsors should be brought to justice. They also urged the party faithful and the general public to disagree report of the suspension of the national chairman is and will still remain the national chairman of the great party. Meanwhile, the former national vice chairman, Northwest of the APC, Saluhu Lukman, on Tuesday claim on President Bola Metunobo to revisit the political impasses between Ganduje and the national leader of the NNPP, Rabiu Kwankwaso. Lukman made the appeal in a statement on Tuesday titled Ganduje in the feasibility of moral and political burdens. Urge President Bola Metunobo to look beyond the $413,000 and $1.38 billion bribery allegation charge filed against Ganduje by the Kano state government. Both Ganduje and Kwankwaso Two former governors, Kano state governors, were allies before they fell out a few years ago over political differences in the state. Lukman insisted that President Bola Metunobo and top APC stakeholders must ask facts to broker peace between Ganduje and Kwankwaso if they hope to retrain their grip on Kano and by extension the entire north, even if it's involved negotiating an alliance. Because being progressive requires honesty, which, given the current political reality, we must accept that Senator Rabiu Musa Kwankwaso and his NNP have a stronger support based in Kano State. Because Kwankwaso was in their party up to 2018 and acknowledged that between 1999 and 2019, both worked together. So they need to revisit issues surrounding their disagreement. Truth is that somehow the politics of Kano State was mismanaged and as it is, if they were unable to win the election in Kano State when they were in control of the Kano State government, it would be hard to imagine otherwise. So guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Again, thank you all so much for staying to with us. We really do appreciate it. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Like, come your winners. Stay safe, guys. Bye.